Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me at the start of our Ultimate Party Week. Oh, it's here. I can't believe it. This is seven days of projects that are going to come out on YouTube. And then on my online class, there are seven more video tutorials. And then we're going to be working completely in this theme. This is the Elegant Ladies theme. And I will tell you on Thursday why I have worked with this colourway. But you can also go over to my blog and find out how you can find all of the visuals and the product supply list for four more party themes. That is garden party, girls party, a shower, you know, a wedding or a baby shower and a boys party. And you will see the visuals for everything. There's about 150 photographs, details and everything. And there are 70 projects in total, I think. Yes, 70 of them. But today we're going to make the party banner. And I think this is just beautiful. Every party needs a party. Every party needs a banner. And this is the beautiful Coastal Cabana one. Now I have made a lot of it, so I'm going to really just make one of each of these things and then put the whole lot together. And I'm going to have to move that right out of my way because it's completely in my line. I need to bring my big shot. There goes my squeaky chair. And I have just noticed that Fennel, my cat, is on my extra desk next to me. And so <laughs> chances of her appearing in the video are quite high right now. So I have my big shot and I have got the banner framelets and I love these and you know by the name of them it kind of lends itself to making a banner. So I have got the two biggest ones. I have got some silver foil for the biggest one and that's going to go in the middle. That's going to be the um, letter R in the banner. So I'm going to just put that on and I'm using my magnetic plate although I actually haven't stamped on this. Magnetic plate's brilliant anyway, so roll that through. And that is my silver foil banner um, cut out. And I've got the Coastal Cabana Designer Series paper. Now these come in a stack, um, and you can get a stack for each of the colour collections. And then I've got the second largest banner framelit. Let's get that going. And so I'm using that because that's going to layer on top of the silver foil one. I don't need my magnetic platform for the next bit. So let's just oops, pop that one out. And then I'm going to grab my spiral flower die because I'm going to do the roses that go in the centre part. So you, because it's a big sty, you don't need any platform. So cutting plate, big sty cardstock and actually I've put four flowers onto the banner and you can do all four in one go. Um, if you don't really want to see me making four of the same rows it would be quite boring. Um, but I will, if you watch tomorrow's video I'm going to show you how to get the beautiful silver tint on the white ones. So you have to watch tomorrow. There you go, what an incentive. I'm going to pop that out. So, I'm going to build this one up first, I think. So you need a pair of tweezers, some glue dots, or if you like a hot glue gun, grab your hot glue gun. But if you, I don't like it very much. I don't like the wispy, strandy bits you get with a hot glue gun. They just drive me nuts. Um, and I I'm, I'm, would prefer to use glue dots, and you will find out this week just how much I love glue dots. You're going to become very well acquainted with them. And they are brilliant. So I've just put a handful there on the two largest, um, or the, the inner part. You grab your pair of tweezers because that helps with the roll. And you put your hand underneath so that this, the centre bit is sat on your thumb. And it doesn't matter whether you're going that way or this way round. You grab with your tweezers and you roll over so that you're rolling towards the inner centre part, not away from it. So roll that all up, and the tweezers do make a huge difference, and Fennel is now sat on the chair behind me. <laughs> and when you've got to the last two, just gently release, pull out your tweezers and it will unspiral itself a little bit. Fold that one up, that underneath, and that is your rose made, and I'm going to squish it down flat. So you just grab a bow fold, and I'll show this in a bit more detail in tomorrow's video. Put it on top and squish. Squish being a very technical term. And that flattens the petals out so it becomes an open flower. Right, oops, 
for the bone folder. I'm going to do some stamping because I need to do all of the layering kind of at the end. So I've got the notable alphabet set. Let me just bring the banner back in and you can see what I'm doing then. So, oh, I've wibbled all my paper. It's outrageous. So, notable alphabet to make the letters. I've already stamped everything but the R in the middle. And I love this. It's kind of a bit whimsical. It's a bit fun. Um, and I like it. So I've got the R, Coastal Cabana ink, just onto the Whisper White, and I have got a couple of punches for this. And I've lost, what have I lost? Oh, I've put my, oh, I'll have to come to that in a minute. Oh, here it is. I lost my bit of foil, which I need as the background. So I've got the one and a quarter inch circle and the one and three eighths of an inch circle, and they nest beautifully. And throughout this week, you will see me using the same um, same colours, same products, same stamp sets, same punches. Because obviously, apart from the fact that we're working to a theme, and you want it all to work and tone together, um, I wanted to kind of restrict my, myself on how many um, products I was using. Because not everybody has access to everything. I don't have access to everything in the Stampin' Up! catalogue. So I was trying to use everything as, as minimally or as a, as a minimum of projects, products as I could. So while I've got my sponge out, I'm going to sponge up the edges of these. And then I'm going to grab back that piece of Whisper White and I'm going to punch three flowers using the Petite Petals Punch. One, two, there's the third. And of the itty bitty punch pack, I've got the four petal flower and a little sliver of coastal cabana. One of those, and then I'm going to sponge these as well. I haven't used the stamp set that matches the petite petals this week at all, although I have used it over on my blog on other projects. And you know, do feel free to go and have a look at them. But I actually haven't used it in this particular series at all because I liked this softened sort of gentle look to it. Paper piercer, um, paper piercer, soft spongy mat and just push those, push the back of your paper piercer into the flowers and it will pop all of them up. So I'm going to grab my rhinestones and I'm going to have probably the wrong size to match the other ones that I've made, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh well. And a little one in there and then I'm going to start layering it all up now now that I've got to this part I can start putting everything together so stamping dimensional one on the back of the R and onto this lovely little silver disc and one onto the back of that ready and then I'm going to start putting this together so this layer is going to come over the top of this so I want three dimensionals for this So two at the top and one at the bottom and it just that will anchor and hold everything in place and actually the whole of the sample took me about half an hour to make so you can understand why I'm not doing a full video of the whole build um, but yeah it took me about half an hour to make in total so quite quick could have been longer right I've lost my glue dots again there they are so I'm going to take this little coastal cabana flower and pop it off to one side there and then these ones just in a little cluster up at the top and now to put it all together so these are the ones that I've already made so I'm just going to put them in letter order so I get them in the right places and I'm stringing it I don't know if you can see that just on the silver one eighth of an inch taffeta ribbon so I wanted to string them and I wanted a hole of reasonable size so I have got my cropper dial um, and I'm I've got a, I can't see through it I've got a bit gummed up in there all I'm doing there we go it's popped out now is punching round that corner can you see that so I'm punching into the corner of the top layer and then I know that they're all going to be in the same place apart from the fact that I now can't see through this because <laughs> that's 
just the way I roll. So I'm thumping it on the arm of my chair to get the bits out so I can see what I'm doing. And they're now firing all over the desk. At least they're coming out now. And the last one. Oh, I can't see it all now. Right, and then just double check that I've got them all back in the right order. So layer them all up and then grab the one eighth of an inch silver ribbon. Lovely stuff. And start, you need to, well, I prefer to start bizarrely from the wrong end. I don't know why. I think it was because I prefer to have the ribbon spool on the right hand side. And you just feed through the front, across the back, and then into the next one. It's just a kind of sewing, I suppose. And then into the front, and through the back and up, back up, through the front again. This is interesting seeing me doing this sort of stitching. I can't sew anything. Um, not a thing. This is probably the closest I would get to sewing. Alright, the last one, an entire loop. So and this is just what you know, this is just what you would use to hang it up with, whether it's on a mantelpiece or in the room maybe where you're sat eating. Um, because at the end of the week, the last project that's coming out, I have got something for your table using the same stamp set and so let's just line that push those back into place to roughly where we want them to go so that I haven't got too much on this side that feels awfully like I've just got to the end I have just got to the end oh, oh no And then I've got my scissors, so I'm just going to snip off these bits here. And oh, that was actually that's yeah. We'll trim that bit off there. And the roses. I hope I can position those correctly. You just bring in all the roses that you've already made. Put them in whatever order you fancy. I'm going to go with the same order that I've already done. And again, glue dots or hot glue, if you know if that's your preference. Just a random bundle on the back and stick them over that the ribbon, which is a bit of a shame to cover it up, but you know, I wanted to have an anchor for them. And if you are careful about your positioning, you, it will still swing. You can still get movement in the banner, which is what you want. Oh, I haven't picked up enough there. Oops. Need another one. Look at this, I've got all through all these glue dots. And there we go. That's my banner. So that's so pretty. So you can see it's, it, there's still movement in it, um, even though these beautiful roses are across the top. But anyway. That's the first project for Ultimate Party Guide Week. Um, and don't, as I said earlier, don't forget to go over to my blog and see the rest. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Bye.